All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So the Nintendo Direct for June went down this morning. So just gonna be uh, reviewing the Direct, letting you know what I think about it. So when it comes to Nintendo, I'm not necessarily the demographic. I'm not necessarily a Nintendo fan per se, but I can always depend on Nintendo nowadays in their Directs to Give me something, one or two games that I'm really excited about, right? They'll show, if they show 12 things, I'm not going to give a damn about 10 of them. But the, two, but the other two things, I'm going to be real excited about them. And that's what I can count on, count on a, a Nintendo show or a Nintendo Direct for. I understand I'm not the demographic. I'm not the target audience. I'm not a fan of a lot of these games that they typically show or a lot of their IPs, right? But two things at least two things guaranteed they they can get me excited for and if and that's fine with me that that's fine i know i'm not necessarily uh gonna be excited for nintendo per se i'm not a fan but you know if if you can just show me two things that i want you've already surpassed my expectations because you know with nintendo i keep i would say i keep it low not because they show anything bad um but you know just not my preference of things, not things I'm interested in. So uh, usually when it comes to, you know, when I'm reviewing these shows and directs or whatever, uh, I, I try to talk a little bit about each game, even though I'm not interested in it, but I'm tired. And um, if, I, if I don't care about the game, I'm just going to tell you, bro, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not really going to try to say something about it like it's a damn funeral. Um, and you know, you don't, you don't like the person. You don't even want to be at the funeral, but you feel like you're obligated to say something. I'm not going to do that, bro. I'm just going to move on. All right. So Super Mario, uh, brothers wonder is a new 2d Mario game. I'm actually interested in this, this, I'm probably gonna, this is coming out on switch October 20th. I'm going to buy this. I enjoy 2d Mario games. It's the 3d Mario games that I've never really been able to get jiggy with. I've never understood the hype of 3D Mario games. The 2D ones are just way better to me. And this 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 one, I don't it 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 almost visually looks like like a Rayman game. It's just vibrant. There's like animations I've never really seen in a in a Mario game before. It's just the art is just beautiful and, and it's just stylish. I, I love the way it looks and the level design looks really cool. Yeah, it's this it's a day, it's a day one for me, man. Um 2D Mario games reign supreme. So move on. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. They don't call it Legend of the Seven Stars here, but it's a remake of that. And this is this is I, I'm so excited for this. So if you watch my video, um I made my top 100 games of all time video. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. And Super Mario RPG was number 89 to me, right? Not nothing, not in, in, in like, obviously that's not the greatest spot it could be, but out of the hundreds and hundreds of games we play, you know, in our lives, you know, I'm, I'm about to be 32. So there's games, there's countless games I've beaten for this game to be in my top 100 still says something, even if it's 89. It's just one of those, you know, just childhood beloved games um, that I, that just stuck with me. Uh, and um, I, I beat it as recently. I rebeat it as recently. I think it was 2008. That was, you know, because I beat it as a kid. And then um, I downloaded the emulator, which I typically don't really do. I typically don't be, uh, beat old games. Um, I typically don't play on emulators. I just, you know, I just don't go out of my way to do that, but it's one of those games I really do love. Um, so I re I rebeat it in like 2008 and you know, it's an RPG, you know, you're, you're, you're selecting attacks. It's, it's one of those games that just, it's ageless. It, you know, it's, it's the mechanics don't get old because all you're doing is selecting attacks. So it's, it's, it's one of those games that age really well. So this is coming out, uh, November 17th. Day one for me as well. Very excited about this, man. Can't wait. Uh, Detective Pikachu, don't care about it. I didn't even see the, the, the Detective Pikachu um, movie. 
I didn't even know. I don't even remember there being the first Detective Pikachu game, if I'm being honest. Uh, but it's coming out October. Metal Gear Solid Collection Volume 1. So this includes MGS1, MGS2, MGS3, and uh, and I think I think also that this is the MGS that was on Super Nintendo, right? I, I think. So I I don't, and this is also on other platforms. I don't think I'm gonna pick this up. I'm not really excited to play, you know, med, the original Metal Gear games over again. Um, like Metal Gear Solid 1, absolutely not. That Metal Gear Solid 1, where did I put? I, th- I put that, was that in my top 10? I think Metal Gear Solid 1 was actually in my top, was in my top 10. If it wasn't top 10, it was top 20 on my 100 uh, games list. But it, but it aged horribly, right? I, that's not a game I want to play right now in, in current day. Like it, that. It ages terribly. Two and three playable. One no, but you know two and three no. I'm I, I'll wait for I'll wait for the remake of, of of three rather than playing these old games. Uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom amiibos don't care. Wario uh, WarioWare uh, mini micro games coming to Switch don't care. Pikmin four don't care. Pikmin, it's not that Pikmin looks like a bad game. It's just not my thing. Um, I kind of wish I was into it. It's not my thing, though, so I don't care. Uh, Pikmin HD versions of Pikmin 1 and 2 coming to Switch. Oh, later today. Okay, cool. Don't care. Um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Hidden Treasure of uh, Area Zero expansions. Um, Don't care. Unfortunately, I don't care because I, I liked, you know, the Pokemon that came out last year. Uh, but no, this is the Pokemon that came out last year. So the Pokemon that came out the, the year before last. Um, I really like that. But this, but this one, Violet and Scarlet, yeah, it, it's, it's, it sucks to me. And I'm not even talk, only talking about the technical and the performance stuff. Just the other things um, that they included in the game parts of the gameplay i was just like yeah i can't get down with this uh this is trash so unfortunately i didn't like it um mario kart 8 deluxe edition uh so the booster course um and i bought this i bought this entire booster course uh been enjoying it so it's gonna have three new characters um and uh a few uh a few new courses so i look forward to trying those characters listen they've been they've been At this point, Mario Kart 8 is a games as a service. Nobody's calling it that. But, bro, this joint is a games as a service. It's its its own platform. It's literally functioning as a games as a service. Like, it's not called that. It's not, you may not think it's that, but it's it's a game as a service, bro. Let's let's keep it real. Um, So, yeah, I look forward to those characters and those new tracks. I've been, me and my wife have been playing them as they come out. Uh, Luigi's Mansion remaster, um, along with a new Princess Peach game. So, by the way, I didn't get to watch uh the, the Nintendo Direct as it was going on. I I saw some clips here and in, in there at the time when this Direct was going on because I was at work. I was like, I only go into work once a week. I'm like, Nintendo, you want to have your Nintendo Direct today, bro? Fine. Um, I think I'm actually gonna pick up this Luigi's Mansion, uh. Dark Moon Remaster uh, game. I don't remember Luigi's Mansion, the the first one, being called Dark Moon, like the subtitle Dark Moon. Maybe it was. Oh, I I remember it just being called Luigi's Mansion. I don't remember anything about Dark Moon, but uh, that that that's just maybe me just not remembering. Um, it's not like I was. I didn't really get into the games all that much, but I think. I think I'm gonna I'm try. I'm gonna try out the remaster. I think I'm gonna try it out. And um, Princess Peach is getting a 2.5D side scroller. I'll probably check that out too. Uh, Vampire Survivor. You know, I don't care about that game. Y'all overhyped that game to death. You know for what it is. Um, Dragon Quest Monsters. That's like Pokemon and Dragon Quest m- mixed. Don't care. Uh, Sonic Superstars, just a new gameplay trailer of that. We've seen it already. The Batman Arkham Trilogy is coming to Nintendo Switch. We've played those already. Don't care. Um, 
Star Ocean, the second story, uh, are announced um, coming out this year. Uh, the original game was released on PlayStation in 1998. Never played this. Not say it, it doesn't look bad, but I doubt I'll probably play it. I doubt I'll probably play it. Persona 5 Tactica, as I told y'all when it was shown at the Xbox show, that's a day one for me. I love my XCOM style, you know, uh, you know, RTS style, grid based combat style games. That's, that's a day one. That's a day zero. Uh, Myth Force, don't care. Mario Rabbits, uh, Sparks of Hope, the, la the, the last Spark Hunter. Uh, that's the DLC. I love Mario, uh, Mario plus Rabbits. I love the series, um, the, the first one, and, and, then this, and then this one. Love it. Um, a, it's an XCOM style game. So it. it, it it plays like XCOM, but the but Sparks of Hope, the original plays like XCOM. Sparks of Hope plays very kind of very differently, right? They kind of thought outside of the box, um, rather than just making it your typical grid based combat thing. I, I really like what they did with Sparks of Hope. So um, excited for the DLC. Splatoon, I I haven't played Splatoon recently, but uh, I I love the multiplayer. Uh, Just Dance, don't care. Uh, Palia. Don't care. Uh, Penny's Big Break. Don't care. Fay Farm. All these damn farming games. These farm sim RPG style style games. People love them. That's why there's so many of them. But I think y'all are weird. I was don't care. Silent Hope. I don't remember looking at this trailer. Is it? What are the chances of it actually being good? Should I even waste? my time and actually looking at this trailer Nick. uh damn ads see i didn't that's why i want to do it i don't want to look at no damn ad man it's probably not even worth it i'm probably not even going to like it uh what is oh see yep trash as soon as i seen these little wait hold on Mm. Analyzing, analyzing. I'm not going to say trash. Not going to say trash. Probably still not something I'm going to play. Um, Headbangers. We've seen this at another show somewhere. Don't care. Um, Gloomhaven. Uh, it's a board game. Yeah, don't pass. Um, Manic Mechanics is a four-player co-op game. It's a four-player co-op game. Not interested. Hot Wheels Unleashed Two. Not interested. So th that's everything. So out of this conference, I'm very excited for actually about four games. That's more than I even expected. So yeah, Mario uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. That's a day one. Mario RPG. That's a day one. Uh. The other two were, oh yeah, the 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 um the Mario Eight uh, Course Pass and the Luigi's Mansion Remaster. Yep, down for all of that. Oh yeah, and Persona Tactics, of course, day one. So yeah, that's that's the Nintendo Direct for June, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this year is one of the greatest years in gaming. And that's due in part to a lot of different developers, publishers um, contributing to this year being great. Initially, you know, I, I thought people were saying it like, yo, this this is one of the this is going to be one of the greatest years in gaming. I'm like, y'all saying that a little bit too early. It's a little bit too preemptive, a little bit too premature to be making such statements. I thought it would be a good year. One of the greatest years. I don't know about that. It's officially definitely going to be one of the greatest years. Um, top five easily, maybe even top three. Nobody is saying it's the greatest year, but top five easily. You can maybe make a case for it might be top three by the end of it. When you think about everything that's come out so far, the only like asterisk on this year is a lot of these great games had have unfortunately had performance issues. That's the only thing that's like putting a like a damper on on some of these releases, like performance, like you know, um, Jedi. And I'm I'm literally 
I'm literally at the very end of Jedi right now. I literally have 30 minutes, but um, there are like 30 minutes left in the game. I know I'm at the end of the game because of something that happens. I'm like, yeah, I'm at the end. Um, but I wasn't able to finish the last night. I had to go to bed, you know. Um, yeah, games like that. And then we learned, you know, Final Fantasy 16. Amazing game by reviewer accounts. But at certain parts of the game, it drops to like 720p to make sure that the that the combat stays at like 60 frames. But outside of that, like just exploration, it's being the 40s. Yeah. Um, so outside of that, those things, the games themselves have still been hidden. So it, it's, you know, with this direct, Nintendo just added to that with the things that are coming out this year. So, yeah. Um, great, great year to be a gamer. That's my review. Let me know what y'all think. What are you excited for? Hit the like button. Hit, uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, check out Weapon Wheel this Sunday. Hit the notification bell so you know anytime I upload or go live. All that good stuff. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.